Once again, PETA, the animal rights activist group, has gone too far again. For how many times? I mean, they've been revealed to actually kill more animals than they actually uh, save. So, you know, all about that, you know, because they actually don't want any no-kill shelters. So, um, shameful, because they're an animal rights activist group. So they'll encourage you to go vegan, but you know, they'll kill dogs. So they'll they'll prohibit you from getting a from getting a cat from eating a cow that was knocked out. But, you know, they'll they'll stick a needle into a dog and inject a fluid that literally poisons them to death. So PETA, the animal rights activist, has gone too far once again, and this is what that video is about. Okay, let's get into the actual meat of it. Oh yeah, and let's go take about this gem. So PETA actually uh, broke in and entered a house in Great Britain, took a family pet, said it couldn't, it wasn't in good living conditions, and killed it the very next and the very same day, which is illegal. <sighs> but did they get punished? No, because diversity is a strength. Isn't that right, Mercedes Khan? Isn't that right? You know, except for diversity of thought, that bad. So, the internet meme, everybody's, everything's cake, because that's what we need. And then, you know, later this year, it's going to turn out there's a cake-bound uh, virus that um, that uh, that travels from cake to cake. And, you know, that's going to be a problem. Because, yay, that's what we need. So, um, PETA made a cake, but something I can't describe because I, my account will get deleted. I do describe it, uh, uh, I'm going to have to be super vague. And let's just say they made some, um, how do I show this? They, they basically took a, a cow, and well, well, they took an, well, they took, they took, uh, actually, um, they took a regular, they took a specific animal's, um, uh, internal organs and, uh, well, you can already see what I'm doing, what I'm trying to show you. So, um, they made a cake out of that. You know, you, PETA shouldn't exist anymore. Why does it? Oh, and also the animal wasn't a cake. Yeah. <sighs> Peter killed an animal just to uh, do their get their brownie points. Fun. And then they posted the caption Not everything is cake. Animals have feelings too. Yeah. You know what also have feelings? Plants, you do actually realize plants can communicate to each other, and when getting their leaves plucked off, they make a uh, they make a sound not uh, not um, able to be heard by the human ear, but with some spe special microphones, uh, you can actually hear it. And, well, um, other plants actually react to that. Yeah, um, inhumane much? So, when plants die, they scream in terror. So high-pitched that we can't hear them. And yet we think they're, uh, inhu- They're not human. Hey, PETA. Plants have feelings too. Not everything is, not everything is cake. Come on, Peta, get get your game going. But yeah, so they dissected a animal 
and put a, up a comment that not everything was cake. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Um. I looked at the photo. Um. And, uh, well, I, I hate myself for looking at it again. Oh, God. Okay, so, uh, possibly the end of this video, I don't know, whatever. So, um, here's the thing about animal dissections. They're usually for the greater good. So, uh, let's take 8th grade dissecting a frog, or my experience when I was in 5th grade dissecting a fish. Fun. I know. So, um, we had a, uh, actually, let's just go with my 5th grade experience experience now i personally don't really care about um i i personally um don't really care about blood and gore and i will happily cut open a dead animal okay that sounds very weird and morbid but i didn't really have any problems with doing cutting open a dead fish and guess what we were there to run tests on them, to make sure that they were healthy, to understand things like the nervous system, the digestive system, the skeletal system. We didn't just go to our local lake slash ocean slash whatever slash stream and catch a fish and say, okay, kids, time to, time to let it suffocate and leave it on land in a jar. Full of air. No, no, we didn't do that. I don't even know how they were killed. So, we were instructed on how to cut the body into two. Not, like, slice in half, like PETA did. But just how to remove the, uh... The, uh... The lower part. And we, we ran tests on what they ate, and... Um their blood, and uh, if their brain looked healthy, if their lungs looked healthy, if their gills looked healthy, wait, they don't have lungs, shoot, if their gills look healthy, oh, shoot, oh, words are hard, but, you know, we didn't just go, like, hey, 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 let's go kill these animals for fun, no, we did it to better understand things, and guess what? It's kind of shocking when you see the innards of a thing. You're not, you're not, if you can, if you see the innards of a thing, you're less likely to go swat it or to go crush it, are you? Because you know how complicated everything is. You understand life. And, well, that's the, um important thing you understand how it works see if you just gave someone like a diagram of a frog well they'd be like okay it's a frog um the 2d frog and i don't really care about i'm going to take some notes and whatever but now let's say you have to touch the liver and make sure it's healthy then you have an entirely different meaning of life and existence of itself. Which is why I think PETA doing this is completely inhumane. PETA did this for some internet points. 8th grade students, and in this case, 5th uh, grade students, do this to understand how basic biology works. Okay, uh, I'm getting onto a rant. Now for the closing arguments if I were in a civil lawsuit against PETA. PETA can keep getting away with this. Cruelty to animals? I don't know. PETA can get away with this because they're trying to educate people, or they're trying to s send a message about animal cruelty. 
But if you look at the facts, PETA is the one being cruel to animals. And that is something I deeply despise. Thank you. Goodbye. Video over.